Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, we made our way through No Man's Wharf to get to the other side of the Lost Bastille. In today's episode, we're going to finish up our exploration of the Lost Bastille and fight uh, another boss in the Lost Bastille. The last one, which is optional. Yay! And do I really care... Oh, uh, yeah, I might as well head back to Majula to rejoin the Covenant. Ah, uh, yes, before we head back to uh, the Lost Bastille, Krillian should be nearby. There he is. Oh, so you finally decided to join us. Let us resume our exploration of sorcery. Let's see, did your inventory expand since you got here? Not really. But I will buy some amber herbs. Young pupil, do not take my teachings lightly. And since he's now here, if we talk to Rosabeth over here. Oh, there you are. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you, come to me. Oh yeah, I never talked to her when she came here. I finally tracked down my teacher. But I've decided to keep at it alone. I need to see what I can achieve by myself. Master Carillion and I are from Malfia to the south, a land lush with sorcery and pyromancy. Master Carillion polished his art at one of our renowned magic academies. But he argued that the academies were terrible places to learn magic. This quite angered Master Glocken, my previous teacher. And Master Carillion is your teacher. Fantastic. Once Master Carillion spoke excitedly of this land. He made talk of the remnants of some great power and the deep abyss that surrounds it. I tried to ask more, but he didn't seem to hear. Oh, I'll never be good enough, will I? Oh, that's just defeat his talk. It was a perilous trek across the mountains. I faced the most frightful things. <laughs> the number of times I nearly died. <laughs> I finally tracked down. All right, now we're just looping. Be safe. Thank you, Rosebeth, my darling. I will never make use of your services in this playthrough, which is a shame. Do you have any consumable souls? Oh yeah, I also have. Is that a shard? To see luck, however. Here you go. Upgrade the Estus flask by giving me another piece. Now we need to burn the sublime bone dust. Loki has got up from his nap, and now wants outside of the room. Okay, that's it for Loki. Now, the only other animal in my room is a kitten that's sleeping. Who seems to be just fine with me talking, which is a 
a rare sight. Anyway, back to the exile holding cell. Let's see, we burned the sublime bone dust, which means now our Estus flask is at plus one. Yay, we got six charges. Which means I can start using it now. We're finally at a reasonable point where I can actually start using Estus flask and start hoarding up life gems. As soon as you get uh, more than five and plus one, Like so. Now this is a good point of be needing a ranged attack. Actually, hang on a second. Do I even have enough bow? I got a bow. 145. Might as well use up all my crossbow bolts for this. Three hits is all it took. Now then, let's not just jump straight down because this is an ambush waiting to happen. Now, unfortunately for me, this freaking uh, structure's in the way. He died somehow. Wait, I think that was the dog, actually. Whoa. I'm out of crossbow bolts. Of the normal variety. Which is not good. You gonna come up through the ladder there, soldier boy? No? All right. Oh, gotta love the, uh... Gotta love the adept perception on the side of the reticle. You gotta love that shit. Okay, I think that's all of them. Well, that takes care of the dogs. There are other soldiers we need to be wary of. Drop down here. Go back here. We can pick up. A soul of a brave warrior and a human effigy. Now then, before we step into the courtyard, we actually want to take care of this idiot. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, it falls off. Great. Oh, one soul is all, one soul arrow is all we need. Alright, that takes care of that. Take a swig. Now you'd be asking, why'd I do that? There's nothing here, it's just an ambush spot with a bunch of archers and some dogs. No harm. Well... If we go forward a little bit... Hello, Pursuer. Welcome back. I did not expect you to do your uh, shield thing. Your uh, shield bash. Thanks for knocking that down for me. Save me the durability. Do, 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 do. If you've seen one pursuer fight, you've seen them all. 
We're gonna be facing this guy three times in this area total. First one, guard the ring, the uh, Coda Silver Serpent Ring. This is the second one. And there's one more encounter of the Super in this level. Twink Blink Titanite. And some alluring skulls. One shot. One shot. Ah! Fuck me. Oh god, there's something stuck in my eye. Oh, that's not good. Hi, dog. Bye, dog. Oh, good lord, something got stuck in my eye. Ah! Ugh. I think it's gone now. Well, that was unpleasant. And here we have a large Titanite shard and another Estus Flash shard. Yay! Now we can open up the gate to McDuff's workshop. Get two for one. Apparently, you can't. Shame. Okay, I should probably actually, before I go crazy, I need to look up. Wait a minute. I need to look up where I get the repair spell again. Because I don't remember if that's one of the spells that pisses me off the most in terms of getting the damn thing. Da, 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 da. Did I accidentally close out the uh, page? No, wait, there it is. Okay, da, 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 da. scroll up to sorceries. I like how I assume even repair is even in this game. Okay, cast Slight, Chameleon, Crystal Man, no, 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 no. Not what I'm looking for, not what I'm looking for. There we go, repair. Oh. That's where it is. Okay, good news, ladies and gentlemen. The repair spell is in an area I've already been to. I just need to use a fragrant branch of yore. Cool. So I can basically go grab that when we're done here. Open up these walls. Gotta be careful because of these douchebags are here. You're dead. Get out of my sight. Yeah, hello obvious trap. I've been through this place enough times to know that this is bullshit. Yeah, come on. Nice try. I misclicked. I did the melee attack. Flame butterfly. Anything in here? No hidden wall? Nope. On well, the plus side, we are getting close to where we use the antiquated key here. We can open up this door. Here, we have some dogs. Nice try. Nice try, Fido. Better luck next time. Hey, buddy. Nice try, shit lord. Okay, use up the last of my repair powder. 
And we want to knock this down. Cast open soul mass. And cast some holding soul arrows for good measure. Thanks to the alluring skull, but our reward for doing that is the Wanderer set. Which looks a lot better in this version because, you know, of the cloth physics. Looks much better with the cloth physics. Okay, come up here. We could have actually come here earlier if we, uh... Go through the rooftop way. One, two... Three homing soul arrows is all we need for these, idiots. Or just two strikes. Hey, buddy. You wanna take a swing? No? Alright. Soul arrows it is. I guess that took two because he was doing he was blah, 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 blah. he was moving, so he took counter damage. All right, Lord Soul, the name of Soldier and a Green Blossom. Thank you. Drop down here. Roll through the barrels. Use a Pharaoh's Lockstone on this big sucker. And let there be light. And here we have a shadow on the ceiling. Hey, buddy. Get down here. Easy as pie. Below hidden wall. Hello, soul vessel. I'm very glad you're not a mimic. You're safe. Here we get a bone staff. I don't know why I'm checking these two, because I know the, for a fact these two ain't mimics. Here we get the parrying dagger, and here we get a new weapon class. Here we get the twin blade. Other than the Dragon Riders, this is the first Twin Blade you can ever get, I believe. Unless I'm uh, misremembering mis something. Yeah, I'm unable to use it because I don't have the stats for it. Anyone want to play Darth Maul? You think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. It's clearly... It's literally a double bladed lightsaber. Not gonna use it. All right, now we got two options. We can head up the ladder, or we can head in here. We head in here. Here we get a wilted dust herb. Let me just double check the walls here. And if we go inside this uh, Iron Maiden, well, technically it's not an Iron Maiden, it's an Iron Cage. We get up here. Where is this, you may be wondering? Well, Skeptic Spice, we open up this door. And we're up here, next to Sinner's Rise. But I don't feel like going up in the Sinner's Rise, so we're just going to uh, take this elevator back down. I know you're supposed to drop to get that item, but I don't feel like falling to my death if I miss. So, I'll hold off on collecting that if I ever need it. Whatever it is, because I don't remember. Let's see, up here we have another corridor. Yay. Huh. Okay, no red phantom dog ambush. Great. I keep forgetting that. And here we have a uh, drop off to the entrance to McDuff's. Ooh, let's not fall down just yet because it's either this wall or this wall. 
God damn it, where the fuck is it? God damn it, I know one of these walls is a hidden wall that takes me somewhere. Where the f fuck? Oh, come on. Okay, if it ain't this passageway, then where the fuck? You gotta be fucking with me here. Where is it? I know it's here. Oh, that's annoying, to say the fucking least. Hmm. Oh, damn it. This is what I get for not remembering shit. And the thing is, the hidden wall is, is not one you smack, it's a button press one. I don't know why I'm coming back up here. Oh wait, I know why I'm coming back up here. More alarming skulls? Thank you. Because I need to actually repair my stuff, so this is actually perfect. Throwing knives it is. Oh, just one? Let's well, not hit Stray, because I don't think I can take care of him very well by myself. And hey, we made our souls back! Anyway, now that we've circled back around, we need to head back to the servants' quarters. Oh wait, I forgot! We fight Pursuer four times! I just remembered something about when we enter down this area. Shoot me down the ladder. Hello. Man, you do pursue. The descriptions on your equipment is the right one. You mercilessly choose after those as affected by the curse of undead. And since I'm the only one that's actually being chased by your sorry ass, everyone else is hollow. Anyway, we need to fill up another Pharaoh's Lockstone to get to the area where, that we want to go to, so... It's a good thing I collect them. And then we've gone to the area where you use them a lot. Really? Asshole. More twinkling tie at night. Here we get the large club. Just to be safe. Because I'm fucking paranoid about mimics. Here we get the priest chime. And use another Pharaoh's lockstone. And let there be light. This away. Here we are at the Belfry Luna, ladies and gentlemen. And our boss. Hello, Munchkin. Undead! Undead! Keep that so far, Bell! Right there, okay. The bell belongs to the princess, it do. Stay back and we slice, slice you to bits. Me and my chums, we shall be. This little dwarf is one of the best voiced characters in the game. A long, long, long time ago, the princess should know me. Yes, just like so. To guard this bell for the prince's honor. Stay away, foul and dead, or you will be a goner. <laughs> Stay back, it belongs to the princess, it do. Ha ha ha! 
This is the NPC for the Bellkeeper Covenant. A rather annoying covenant, to say the least. Especially when I farm up a certain armor set. Uh, Ben, you're coming to join the Bellkeepers? Uh... No. Oh, don't worry, I'm about to go meet your brother later. But you do have a lot of bodies. Lots of bodies of the bell keepers. Who are annoying little dwarves. That like to nip at your ankles. And shoot you with bows. Don't throw fireballs at me, you little shit. And we give everybody a dark spirit bell keeper. Great, skeptic spice. Come on, Bellkeeper. Fuck you. Piece of shit. I have an intense hatred for these guys after I decide to farm up a certain NPC's um, armor set. Let me tell you, that was a mistake. Anyway, the uh, fan red phantom that we got invaded by is up that ladder. We're not going to be going up the ladder. Maybe because the Belfry... Yeah, the Belfry that we're in is an optional area. So there's really no reason for me to actually go up there. And these guys hit surprisingly hard for their little stature. Those axes are no joke. Oh, wait, I forgot. We do need to go up there. Fuck. Because in order to get access to the boss, we need to unlock this gate. And the only way to do that is to head upstairs. Son of a bitch. I don't think you guys can climb ladders, though. And you can see the problem already. Yeah, these guys hit really fucking hard, as it turns out. Especially when they can shoot twice with their bows. They're cheap little bastards. Like that. Alright, you little shits. That's how you want to do it. Alright, I'll play your little game. Geronimo! You want to play that little game with me, you little shitbags? Alright. Hey, buddy. Is that offer still open? Dow, I... God, hearing this through, through headphones is weird. It's because of the echo effect.
Great, we're dealing with a mad dwarf. Nice to know that this place was called Ulken in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, now that we've actually joined the Covenant, it doesn't really do anything against the uh, Bellkeeper NPC dicks. Instead, what we're going to do is summon up a little help. Masterless Glencore! Come on in, buddy. Oh, Master of Glencore. Hopefully you can actually be useful for this. Hi. I don't know where your buddy on the other stairs went, but that's... Nope. Unfortunately for me, Glencore really doesn't hit that hard. He's mainly here to be a distraction. <laughs> I was about to say, Glencore, uh, you could just, you know, slam him down with that Zvi Hander of yours. Come on, Glencore. Okay, there's my stuff. Perfect. Bellkeeper is dead. Unfortunately, so is Glencore. Well, that's fine. I was going to use him anyway. Oh, what'd you guys drop? The Bellkeeper bow. Oh, cool. Two of them. These any good? Lesser damage, but they have a higher shot range than the short bow. Wooden bow used by bellkeepers. Very light and requires hardly any strength. The bellkeeper symbolize forbidden love. The bellkeepers, their faithful guardians, ever ready to annihilate trespassers. They will stand watch forever and ever these determined, if ill-minded marionettes. Anyway, ring the bell. Ring your bell. Ring your bell. Anyway, open up the... Uh, chest and get some Radiant Life Gems and some Twilight Herbs. Drop one back down. That almost killed me. And our gateway is open. This is when I find out when I come back down here that that little fucking dwarf bastard fell down the hole. Oh, son of a bitch, he did. There he is. Ran back up the stairs. Well, let's go see how well we do. By ourselves. Let's see where our damage is output against the gargoyles. Welcome to the Belfry Gargoyles. Good start already. I hate this boss. Similar to the Dark Souls 1 version, but a lot more bullshit. Why? Because you're immediately beset by multiple gargoyles at the same time. And 
time, the longer you take, the more gargoyles spawn. Yeah, that's also a bad thing, Festus. If you get interrupted, it does not work. Estus is in inferior healing in this game. Well, that's what I expected to have happen. I hate fighting the gargoyles. And unfortunately for me, I need to kill them. Because they're going to give me a useful object. No, they're not. Because this ain't New Game Plus where they do. Oh, I hate having to fight shitty bosses. Really, though, this boss fight with the gargoyles in this game is meant to be fight, fought in co-op. No questions, ands, or buts about it. Because fighting them by yourself is a pain in the ass. Because if it's just fighting two at a time, yeah, it's a pain, but it's doable. The fact of the matter is that the longer you take the more of them actually show up in the fight. Until eventually you get a clusterfuck where you're dealing with several boss enemies at the same time. It's like, oh, you kill one? Congratulations! Here's five more. Anyway, we gotta get rid of these uh, idiots that are in the way. Otherwise, Glencore's not gonna come through the fog wall. I was actually expecting you to survive the encounter up top, Glencore, but, uh... This'll do. Another bow for the collection. All right, come on, Glencore. Let's go kick some ass. Or rather, you'll be my meat shield and distraction while I get my stuff back. I believe these guys are supposed to be weak to lightning. Let me see. What's your... Let me just block so... This happens. Okay, Glencore does 120. One eighty-six. Okay, one down. Glencore is fine, I can deal with one. He deals with the other two. Glencore, my man! Oh great, they can breathe fire too. Oh, and get the shoot lightning. I forgot about that one. Okay, good. That's another one dead. You can see why this boss is a hassle by yourself. Okay, last one. Get out of here. Yeah, you can imagine doing this by yourself is a pain in the dick. Just let you see, you got one, two, three, four, five gargoyles you need to deal with. If you can kill them right quick, then it's not a bit of a problem, is it? It's one that you can't kill them quick that it becomes a problem. Of course, this is an optional boss that you don't need to do unless you're collecting all the trophies or achievements or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Because these bastards drop a useful ring on New Game Plus cycles. Anyway, open up this chest. Yep, 
And here we get the normal southern ritual band. Yay. We also need to start... Actually, the other reason we need to do the, all the optional areas is because this unlocks another bonfire. <gasps> to a rather annoying area filled with dogs. Come on, Fidos. That's what I thought. Okay, dog's taken care of. Now we gotta deal with this guy. Or go to center. I hate fighting spear guys. Backstab! What are you aiming for, you loser? Oh, I'm almost out of... Wow, magic does a lot of damage to him. Orgle the Sinner has been vanquished. Cool. And we get the Enchanted Fellowship for our troubles. And a human effigy. Well, I assume the Enchanted Fellowship was actually on the body. Here we get the Dragon Tooth, a petrified something, and a Bright Bug Pellet. Yeah, this was worth the hassle of getting. Avil's fucking weapon. Weapon. A giant dragon tooth used as a great hammer. As solid as a boulder, this tooth is said to be taken from a dragon, but the truth of this claim is unclear. What is certain that it bears some mystical power, and grants the wielder some resistance to magic and fire. Yeah, I think we actually need to be able to... I think we actually need to equip this to gain the buff. Of course, that's probably a bunch of bullshit, but... Nah, doesn't change. Get off my inventory bar. Okay. That is, I believe, everything except for one small area in the Lost Bastille that I forget where the fucking door is. But we're in the upper rampart, so that doesn't matter. Instead, we need to head back to the Shaded Woods, because I need to go get repair. Get out of my face, bitch. Okay, I got two fragrant branches of yore, and we got several petrified lions around here. One of them is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm looking for... Inside chest blocked by a petrified lion warrior. Well, that's real specific. There's a chest here. There's a chest over there, and there's another one, and there's an item being blocked over here by something that's petrified. I want to say it's this one. Because the other one has to, well, either way, one of them is right. Okay, I believe you're a warrior, aren't you? If you pull out the axe and, yep, you're, yep, you're, I believe you're the right one. Oh yeah, I forgot. Magic is useless against you. Oh, 
Oh yeah, magic barely does anything to you guys. Especially when you have weird backstab animations. Please let this be the right chest. Da -da 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 -da, it is! Repair three human effigies and three bleeding serums. What the fuck is a bleeding serum for? Uh, here we are. Adds bleeding effect to right hand weapon. A jar of a carnivorous plant secretions. Applies bleeding effect to right hand weapons. Bleed foe's max HP is lowered. And bright bug. A tiny bug that produces light. Bright bugs are said to comfort the dead and are found in the marshlands leading to the young dead crypt. We saw a bunch of. It was either these or flame butterflies that we saw in the intro cutscene. By ingesting a bright bug just before death, the moment at which they glow most brightly, one attains great power for a short time, often utilized as a ra last resort for adventurers who have lost their way. Has no effect in other worlds or for phantoms. So, can't use that during PvP or co-op, when you're the one going somewhere. Which is good, because if it was, that'd be broken as fuck, and what the fuck are you doing by the bonfire, you, oh, you son of a bitch. Hey! Come on, Lion Warrior, let's dance. Let me show you the power of my sorcery. Which admittedly is heart garbage. Of course, it doesn't help when you guys are practically magic resistant. Okay, that is it for the Shade Ruins, I think? No. Oh, there's a Lion Mage. Oh yeah, I forgot about this little area. Alley oop! I forgot, over here is where we collect one of my favorite weapons. Hi, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. God, you guys with the great show are so easy to backstab. Love your armor, though. Green Blossom. Anyway, I forgot about this over here. We open up this chest. We get some sublime bone dust. Twilight Herb and a Soul of a Brave Warrior. But no. The, my One of my favorite weapons is actually behind this guy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Man, you need so many fucking branches of fragrant yore, it's ridiculous. Hey, I nailed the jump! Or is this the chest? It's been so long since I've actually gotten this weapon, I forgot. Nope, here it is! The Black Knight Halberd makes another return, ladies and gentlemen. That's the second Black Knight weapon we got, and I believe this is the earliest one you can grab, actually. Unfortunately, it's not as busted as it was beforehand. Actually, a lot of the Black Knight weapons aren't as good as they were before. Anyway. Halberd wielded by knights who served a Lord of Light a long forgotten age. Even after their flesh was charred by flame, they were made as strong as ever and stood watch, challenging visitors to their lands. On the plus side, all Black Knight weapons now do need fire damage. Although the Halberd has a bit of a redesign. Now, now it's more closely resembling a glaive. Eh, I don't mind. Oh. For a second there, I thought I did not click... For a second there, I thought I wouldn't make it because I forgot to click the button for jump. Cool. You know, if I was... I would actually use this weapon. If I had the stats for it. But I'm committed to my uh, Moonlight. Okay, um, I have one fragrant branch of your left. So I got several options here. I could use it on two things in the Shade Ruins to complete Vengarl's quest line to get his stuff. Or I could get another treasure item that's also here. But I believe that also gives me another fragrant branch of your. Or 
I can head to the things betwixt and use it on that one to farm up the basilisk. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna open the pathway to the basilisk and the things betwixt so I can get a fucking stone that I need. Let's see, do I have. I have a bunch of soul items I can consume, so that's not gonna be an issue. Oh, cool, I forgot you stay lit once I light, light you on fire. Alright, I would say this has been a productive episode, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not even fully done yet. I still got a few more minutes. Kill this guy. Put up the bonfire. I'm gonna put up the fog wall. Ow. Knock down the tree to create a pet shortcut. Dick. Ah, there's the last sconce I need to light. Kill you. You gotta drop anything? No. You think I'm stupid enough to fall down a pit into uh, a horde of basilisk? You got another thing coming there, Sunny Jim. Oh, sh- Ow! Right in the head. You're lucky I'm above an elevated angle. You jerk. And here's an Estus Flash Shard. Another one. Man, we're doing real good progress on the Estus. Even though it's functionally an inferior healing compared to life gems, but whatever. And we go through this fog gate. Shut up. There's another torch. Now before I piss off the Sir Ogre over there, let me just knock down this tree. Aren't there supposed to be a... Isn't there supposed to be a second ogre over here? Or am I thinking of New Game Plus? No, wait, there he is. Come on, big boy. Okay, so my damage is sufficient. Come on. Yes, follow me to your doom. Now the funny thing is, you can actually lure these guys to the, to their deaths if you they would uh, actually you know follow you long enough to actually get over to the fucking tree branch. Or I could just kill them. That works too. Unfortunately, I think they fixed this uh, little exploit in this version. Where they will actually follow you to uh, the tree branch and one of them will actually fall down to their doom. I think they fixed that in this version. Anyway, we come down here. Hi, Pursuer! Man, you live up to your name. One well, thing's for damn sure, if you play a scholar, you will become a master at fighting Pursuer by the end of it. Because <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, I get it. It's in his name, but come on, guys. You couldn't, uh... Man, I want him to do his stupid shield charge. He is not doing his shield bash. Attack. Come on, do your charge. Or, you know, just ignore me. 
Well, that's not what I wanted. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can bounce off the shield. I forgot. He can block. Thanks for the weekly tie at night. And here we get a uh, coffin. We jump in it. And you get a weird little gimmick. The nature of your being has changed. What happened? You become a chick. <laughs> this coffin lets you change genders for some reason. I don't know why. I think it only changes your gender. I don't think it messes with your face at all. Let me see here real fast. Stop. Nope, it didn't. Alright. Cool. Well then. Let's get... Oh yeah, you're here. Oh yeah, that counts as a reset of the area for some reason. I don't know why. Well, now I have the uh, Basilisk farm up for uh, stones that they can drop. We got a bunch of souls that we can spend. Let's head back to Majul and do that. Plus, I need to upgrade my Estus Flask Shard. Estus Flask Shard? My Estus, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's all the love first? Four levels, huh? Alright, put them all into intelligence. Upgrade our Estus Flash Shard. So now that we have seven charges. But wait, there's more. We now have eight. Only four more left to collect. And another sublime bone dust. Yay, we're now plus two Estus. We only have three more sublime bone dusts to collect, then we're at max. Four shards, three dusts, then we have maxed out Estus. Yay! And like that, it's time for us to end the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGad21. This has been Let's Play Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Next episode... I figure out when I want what I want to do next because there are there are only two ways left to go now that we've killed two out of the four main bosses but until then thank you for watching have a wonderful evening and I'll see you all next time